Here we go, round two of the GAT system. Putting pipes in. Oh, look at all the dirt. Look at all that backfill. Don't even need a ladder to get down in here anymore. There. Pop, pop, pop. There's the holes on the second level. Second layer. Going around. Look at all those. So you had to shovel away a little bit of the dirt that we backfilled. Yeah, I just... Uh... One more. Boom. What's the, what's the total length of the tubes in between the header tubes? Uh, just over 19 feet. Okay. Or about 19.4, I think. How many pieces do you get per coil? Five. Hmm. And so, pretty straightforward. What else do you do in here? Cutting a... I cut a little notch. And I cut a little piece out. To kind of get it a little bit smaller, fitting into the four inch hole. Right. right. So you're cutting out about a quarter inch of the Right, because it's... The outside diameter of this material is... Of the pipe is bigger than my hole. Yeah. And then... Then you wrestle it like an alligator. This is the most annoying stuff to work with. Because it's so flexible? Because it's very stiff and it wants to do what it wants to do. Oh. We oh, got it. Oh, barely got it. <laughs> oh. So you go okay. in about four inches or three inches? I go in about four ribs. Four ribs, uh huh. Okay. So and then you secure it with then a screw? I put a screw in. Yeah. Maybe sometimes two. So when I try the the other ones, so it's got a natural curve to it because it's coiled. Yeah. So the bottom ones I ran down. Oh. And these are going to run up. Okay. And it won't pull out because it's sticking into it that way. Oh, okay. All right. And there it is. It's one down, 16 to go. <laughs> so I see what you mean, how it's point. You've got it. So the uh, yeah. natural curvature of the tube is pointing down. Do so you think we'll put more dirt under it? Yeah. Yeah. Like butter. Yeah. Except they're left turn. Left turn Clyde cutters. <laughs>
Yeah. Woo. Woo. Too slow. I'm too slow. Oh, did you already cut it? No. I cut one piece off. So now you're cutting the header tube because these are actually the vertical tube. These are the, the vertical tubes. The last piece will be cut into two pieces for the vertical part of the GET climate battery system. I need to cut halfway on here. You cut on the ridge of the tube? Yeah, cut that off. But now I have like a bell shape. Okay. I'm going to cut this little flange off. Oh. I use my Dremel for that. Dirty. Now you said you're going to do a four foot, uh, an eight foot tube and a six foot. Okay. Magic trick. Magic trick. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. All right. Flange is off. You <laughs> got the goggles and the mask. Man, that's a messy job. All right, how's it go? <laughs> Only one way, I suppose. How are you gonna? I don't want to screw it on. Screw it on, okay. Okay, how's it? Good. All right. We can put, we'll put a strap around it. Okay. Later. Cool. All right, let's go do the other one. All right. This one's a little bit taller. Ooh, it goes all the way up. <laughs> Guess you need me to hold that. Yeah. Once we get it screwed, okay. Then I can uh, we can kind of pull it back a little bit. Okay. tubing the vertical install the second layer of the gat so we're pretty much in business for backfilling now yep. um, all the way just a couple pieces of conduit got to go up go in yep. for the uh, electrical to connect them to the other side so the, wa the water line too. water line yeah yep. so. so yeah it's official gat system finished <laughs> then we'll be once we get the structure built, then we'll focus on the fans and the upper part. But uh, the underground part of the gap is done. It's done. Woo! <laughs> 
Well, anyways, guys, thanks for joining in. We'll see you next time. All right, bye-bye. Thanks for watching. Thank you.